Hi guys and welcome to another episode of the Explain series. I hope you had a good uh, start into 2022. So today we're going to be talking about warts. So what are they caused by? They're caused by the human papilloma virus. The human papilloma virus is a very common uh, virus. There's over 200 different types and I guarantee you if you're not carrying it right now you have definitely carried it sometime in the past and will so sometime in the future. Uh, if you ever had a verruca on your feet that's HPV type 1 uh, or type 2. If you ever had uh, warts on the hands that can either be type 2 type 3 there's there's lots of different types out there uh, obviously i'm going to be talking about genital warts uh, so genital warts uh, are type 6 and 11 and they can be uh, anywhere on the genitals or also around on the anus and sometimes you can also get them on other areas of the body as well for example uh, like the hands um, and uh, they're small little cauliflower uh, lumps but they can sometimes be flat uh, they can also be soft so if they're in a bit of a skin which is a bit moist and not hairy for example um, in the vagina or around the vulva or uh, under the foreskin uh, they tend to be uh, soft uh, and a little bit more pliable if they're in a bit of uh, a bit of hard skin or hairy skin uh, so on the the pubis or the pubic bone uh, then they tend to be a little bit uh, tougher and a little bit um, harder uh, but they can also be pigmented, they could be uh, flat, they can also be little on stalks, that's called pedunculated. And that's where you have a little ball with a little stalk uh, at, at the end. Um, a diagnosis is quite simple, it's usually just by uh, examination. It doesn't need to be any swabs or bloods, but if you've got warts, you may want to have a full sexual health screen testing for gonorrhea, chlamydia, uh, syphilis, and HIV as well. Sometimes you get warts on top of skin which doesn't look quite right, and so occasionally if the doctor is not quite sure if it's warts or not, they may take a small biopsy as well, but that is usually fairly rare. So, uh, apart from a screen for sexually transmitted infections, uh, you don't really need to notify your partners, uh, your current partner if you're with someone, um, it may be wise for them to get a, um, a quick uh, check over as well, just to make sure they don't have any lumps or bumps, but they could also do that uh, themselves as well. Uh, obviously, if you use condoms to have sex, that reduces the risks of uh, transmission. Uh, it's also important not to smoke, and I'll explain why not to smoke uh, and why it will be very difficult to get rid of warts if you smoke uh, in the next uh, video. And uh, if you are of a certain age, and depending on what your country and depending on what your country's vaccination policy is, uh, there is a vaccine against uh, warts 6 and 11, uh, and so you can always uh, get that as well. So what's the treatment for warts? You can just leave them alone. And unless you're a smoker, the vast majority of warts will... Uh, hopefully uh, go by themselves but because it's a little bit unsightly or if it's around the anus it can make wiping uh, yourself a little bit uh, difficult uh, then you may want to get uh, treated. Uh, so you can use uh, podophyllotoxin uh, otherwise known as water, or watercon or condoline. Uh, now with all these creams and uh, potions uh, if you have uh, any chance that you may be pregnant, don't use any of these creams or potions. If you have uh, having sex with someone and you may be getting pregnant or you're not taking any precautions to prevent pregnancy, then you don't want to use any of the creams or potions I've mentioned, uh, okay? Uh, simply because they can harm the development of any future baby. Uh, so it's very important, don't use them. Uh, at all. There are also treatments that don't revolve uh, various creams and uh, so you, they can be if they're very very large and I have seen warts the size of my uh, fist before um, and for those warts that large they need to be excised by surgery. There's also laser treatment as well that you can use and a laser treatment is rare in uh, most of the world uh, but there are a few private clinics uh, that tend to do it and quite frankly laser treatment is a little bit over the top uh, because cryotherapy works in just the same. It's much, much simpler and much easier to do. Um, and if you're pregnant and you do have warts because it's a lower immune system, then you just use uh, cryotherapy or excision, or you can just uh, leave them alone. Uh, very important, don't pick, um, because the more you pick, and if, if you pick the warts and they bleed, uh, then they could very well, wherever the blood goes, they could seed new warts. And the best thing to do uh, with warts after they've been treated is just leave them alone, allow them to turn black, and then allow them to drop off. If they turn back to flesh coloured uh, within uh, seven to ten days uh, then you may need to go through another round of cryotherapy if that's what you've elected to do. The creams tend to work a bit longer and can take um, up to uh, many months uh, before you see any noticeable impact. 
Uh, so that's basically the main points uh, of warts. Uh, go and get treated, uh, get them reviewed by a health professional and get a, a sexual health screen if needed. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.